हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक एग्रीकल्चर जीके पार्ट थ्री फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विथ क्रॉपिंग सीजन एज पर सीजनल क्लासिफिकेशन क्रॉप्स आर ग्रूव्ड अंडर द सीजन इन विच देयर मेजर फील्ड ड्यूरेशन फॉल्स ऑन सीजनल क्लासिफिकेशन बेसिस द क्रॉपिंग सीजन इज क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री ग्रुप्स फर्स्ट वन इज खरीफ सीजन सेकेंड इज रबी सीजन एंड थर्ड इज जैत सीजन नाउ वी विल गो थ्रो करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ईच सीजन फर्स्ट वन इज खरीफ सीजन दीज आर साउथ वेस्ट मानसून सीजन क्रॉप्स where the sowing takes place during the months from june to july and harvesting from september to october months kharif season crop needs warm wet weather during growth period and these are the crops which are having the shorter day length for flowering and the success of green revolution helped the growth of kharif season crop because rice was one of the crop which are having the significant growth and improvement in production and productivity because of green revolution now rabi season these are post monsoon crops means the season starts after end of rainy season for rabi season sowing takes place during months october to november and harvesting phase from january to february months these crops require cold and dry weather during growth period and having the nature of longer day length for flowering and the success of green revolution also helped the growth because wheat was one of the crop which was having the significant impact of growth and improvement in productivity because of green revolution third one is jayat season where the crops are having the nature of summer crops and the sowing season is from february to march months and harvesting from may to june months so these crops are generally passing through summer season so these are called summer crops also these crops require warm dry weather during growth period and longer day length for flowering generally the nature of the crops are short duration and these crops are known as cash crop or contingent crop now we will understand what is cash crop or contingent crop these are the crops cultivated to catch the forthcoming season it replaces the main crop that has failed due to biotic or climatic or management hazards generally cash crops are of very short duration quick growing harvestable or usable at any time of their field duration and adaptable to the season soil and management practices these catch crops or contingent crop provide feed check weed growth conserve soil utilized added fertilizer and moisture and the examples of catch crop or contingent crops are green gram black gram cowpea onion coriander and bajra Here we have shown the map of India indicating the states which are growing kharif crops as a major crops in these states and the states which are having the major kharif season are uttaranchal uttar pradesh bihar assam jharkhand west bengal odisha chatisgarh telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu kerala karnataka maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh राजस्थान हरियाणा एंड पंजाब सो खरीफ सीजन क्रॉप्स आर मेजरली ग्रोन इन आवर कंट्री देन रबी सीजन क्रॉप्स एंड दीज स्टेट्स आर प्लेइंग मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ खरीफ क्रॉप्स now here to study the crops which are grown in kharif season like cereals where the rice maize sorghum 
पर्ल मिलेट फिंगर मिलेट एंड फॉक्सटेल मिलेट आर कल्टिवेटेड ऑन लार्जर स्केल्स अंडर पल्सेस क्रॉप देर आर पीजन पी मूंग बीन और ग्रीन ग्राम एंड ब्लैक ग्राम विच आर कल्टिवेटेड ड्यूरिंग करीब सीजन अंडर ऑयल सीड्स ग्राउंड नट एंड सोयाबीन एंड इन फाइबर क्रॉप कॉटन एंड जूट Here we have shown the map of India, indicating the states which are playing major role in cultivating rabi season crops. And these states like Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Uttar Pradesh, North East states, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab, and Jammu Kashmir. These states are growing rabi season crops because of cool weather requirements. now the crops which are grown in rabi season under cereals wheat and barley are major crops under pulse crops bangal gram green peas are cultivated under oil seeds mustard and rape seed sunflower safflower and linseed seed or flax seed are playing important role under sugar crops sugarcane is cultivated in northern states and central states and west states and under vegetable crops potato radish and cauliflower are majorly grown in ravi season here are some examples of jaid crops like pumpkin bitter gourd sesame cucumber cowpea and watermelon here to study crops classification on the basis of economic use or agronomy the crops are classified in different groups like cereals and millet crops pulse crops or leguminous crops oil seed crops sugar or starch crops spices and condiments fodder and forage crops medicinal crops plantation crops narcotics or stimulant crops and horticulture crops now to study monsoon seasons in india the monsoon seasons are of four types which are southwest monsoon northeast monsoon winter monsoon and summer monsoon the most important of these cyclones usually occur from june to september resulting in summer monsoon or southwest monsoon which is followed by a second rainy season from october to december months which is called northeast monsoon a third rainy season occurs starts from january to february which is known as winter and fall and fourth rainy seasons from march to may which is called summer and fall of the four rainy seasons out of four southwest monsoon is the most important because it is contributing around 80 to 95% of the total rainfall requirement of the country first one is southwest monsoon this monsoon starts from the sea in late summer and moves northerly directions across india it is also the largest monsoon in india which is covering 80 to 95% of the total rainfall of the country southwest monsoon is very very essential for agriculture in india especially for seasonal crops of rice and many other crops it is a fair of 4 months it continues for 4 months from june to september in which india receives most of its rainfall during southwest monsoon period second important monsoon is northeast monsoons which is the result of area of high pressure northeast monsoon works for the period october to march 
in the north eastern region of india third type of monsoon is winter and fall which is restricted more to northern india and received in the various forms like snow on the hills and rains in the plains of punjab rajasthan and central india fourth one is summer and fall which is received for the period march to may is local storms and this rainfall is mostly received in the south east of peninsular and bengal western india doesn't generally receive these rains so these are four type of monsoons now to study weather and climate what is weather weather refers to the state or condition of atmosphere at a given place at any given time representing the short term variations of atmosphere in terms of temperature pressure wind moisture cloudiness precipitation and visibility means weather is representing the atmospheric changes for a shorter period as a nature of weather weather is highly variable constantly changing sometimes it changes from hour to hour and sometimes from day to day and weather is related to the a smaller area like village city for a smaller duration of time now climate climate is a generalized weather or summation of weather conditions over a given region during a comparatively longer period means climate is the sum of weather conditions for a longer period and it may be defined as the sum of all statistical weather information of a particular area like zone state country during a specified interval of time like month season year and usually several decades so where weather is representing the atmospheric changes for a period of hourly or a day but the climate is representing the weather conditions for the months or decades or season or year the world meteorological organization has suggested a standard period of 31 years for calculating the climatic averages of different weather elements difference between weather and climate weather is the condition which represent the atmospheric changes on day to day basis minute by minute or seasonally and it represent the changes in a shorter period where the climate is the average weather conditions over a place and mostly takes place for a longer period like month season year and long period of 30 years in case of weather it may involve just one condition of the atmosphere like wind temperature or pressure while climate includes all the conditions of the atmosphere such as temperature precipitation wind humidity cloud and pressure weather occurs in a place within a shorter time like minute to minute day by day hourly or seasonally while climate takes place over long period of time for the summation of weather conditions weather is what we get on a daily basis but climate is the situation or condition of the weather which we expect over a long time weather changes within a short time while in case of climate overall changes and variations of a climate are very stable and may take decades or centuries to occur so the timeline has been fixed at 30 to 31 years to get the climatic pattern of a region in case of weather the scientific study of weather is called meteorology and meteorologist study weather while in case of climate the scientific study of climate is is called climatology and a climatologist studies climate so this presentation was all about agriculture general knowledge part 3 hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much